What did your first few screenplays teach you about screenwriting? That's a really good question. Um, I think some of my, even even like a lot of my early films, I, I was a huge uh, lover of like uh, horror action, sci-fi action. Um, you know, I always like sort of the more supernatural themes or the more, uh, uh, you know, the stuff that was sort of extraordinary because it was, uh, I felt like there were no rules. Like you could sort of, um, in terms of story, you could say or do anything you wanted. Um, so uh, a lot of those early uh, scripts were in that vein. It was like, uh, you know, these huge epics. Like I, I learned very quickly that um, when you start out as a writer, like uh, don't write yourself into a situation where it's something that can't be made. <laughs> you know, I think that's the biggest thing I learned is uh, sometimes you need to sort of sort of tone it down, um, bring it back down to the ground a little bit, um, you know, because uh, we can we can tend to sort of get really extreme and really um, crazy with uh, our ideas and uh, sometimes if you're just a writer and you don't you don't do any other part of the process like you can sort of make things that are so big uh, and so expensive that you almost limit your options in, in terms of being able to get it made like um, you can you can go too big you know um, so I, I would say that's the thing I learned early on. Like um, um, I used to shop a lot of scripts around and, and um, you know, I had these lofty ideas, you know. And when it came down to actually making my first uh, feature, I was like, okay, that's not going to happen. Like we cannot make Transformers with no budget. So... Uh, we got to bring this back down to reality, and so uh, I uh, I started to shift um, my approach a little bit. I started to look at um, the things I actually had access to versus um, sort of um, writing about these things that um, were just way too big to get made. And so I started looking at uh, my the resources I had and then let that influence the story or the, the way that I would write the script. For instance, if, uh, if I knew somebody with a bar or if I knew somebody with a garage or whatever the case is, you know, I, I, um, once it came to actually f producing this stuff myself, I started um, pulling using those resources and developing stories around those those things that I knew I could do and knew I could um could could get access to um so that I would set myself up to succeed you know as far as uh producing um these projects and I was like I'll, I'll uh I started out writing these extreme massive uh stories and then I was like, okay, I'm going to bring it all the way down to the ground and then work my way back up <laughs> to making bigger and bigger uh, films and, and sort of do it that way. Um, but yeah, it, it really came down to like, okay, let's, let's really get real about what we have, what we don't have, what we have access to, what we don't, um, what we can make, what we can't, you know, and, uh, and kind of go from there, you know. Um, yeah, so I, I think that was the, the most important lesson I learned is to, um, you sort of have the dream and then you have the reality and you have to operate based on realistically where you are and what you have and just work your way up from there. You know. So you saw a movie like Tape works it's, yeah. it's pretty much one location and, yeah, absolutely. and just incredible dialogue and, and yeah. interaction between the, the talent. But in terms of maybe um, some of the technique, mm -hmm. what, what did your first few screenplays teach you about that? Um, what was interesting is because of, because of my background of sort of doing it, uh, every part of the process myself, I had a slightly different view of it uh, because when I, when I write, 
I'm already thinking about um, how the scene is going to be done, how it's going to be shot, um, what type of shots I'll be using, because I'm also the, the cinematographer. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely, um, I think, gave me a, a different vantage point of of it because as I'm writing it, I know how it needs to be shot. I know how many shots I'm going to need. Um, you know, I'm already looking at the, um, I'm already sort of breaking it down as I'm writing it. And so um, I knew, like, as I'm writing, I know I'm able to do these things. Like, I know I'm able to um, produce these scenes, you know what I mean? So I'm able to sort of uh, uh, not not limit myself, but I'm able to sort of uh, be be a little more informed about how I'm writing these scenes, like making sure that I'm not um, putting anything on the page that can't be done, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I would say that from that from that standpoint being the person that is going to shoot it who's going to edit it you know um all that stuff informs the way that i would approach uh writing a scene yeah